Good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you're watching around the world. This is your host, this is your guy, DLG Repping. And um, I'm going to bring you um, my match review of the Norwich game that I've watched, which finished Arsenal 4, Norwich City 0. And this could um, all but confirm Norwich's fate in the Premiership. Hmm. And um, first half, I thought we were terrific in the way that we took the game to them, which was expected. Uh, the way that we pressed the ball, which should be expected. And um, the, the work rate, which definitely should be expected. For me, um, for um, defensively, we weren't really troubled um, so much in, uh, in that first half, except in the business end of that first half, Martinez made a fantastic save. I mean, Danny Ceballos and uh, Shaka, I thought they controlled the midfield today, you know. And um, in long, in longer period of that first half, Norwich couldn't get out of their um, own half. And um, the first goal came from a complete howler from Tim Crawl. His manager will not be best pleased. Neither would be his teammates or the defence in front of him. In fact, for that matter, the fans will be very upset with him because potentially they could have um, come to the Emirates and tried to get themselves a realistic um, result. And that's the result that they didn't get. And um, it all started with Tim Krul's howler. And um, Aubameyang is the first Arsenal player to net 50 league goals since... Well, he's the fastest to, to net 50 league goals. I mean, Thierry Henry tried after 87 games. Aubameyang's done it in less than 80 um, league games. So congratulations to Aubameyang there. He's got two. Um, Shaka got um, the second goal um, of the game well works moved and um, he drilled it at the far post maybe Krull could have Tim Krull could have um, done a bit better there and um, in the second half um, the first 10 minutes we started off really slow Flat-footed and and lethargic, but um, we grew into it. We started to, you know, throw some tackles about, and um, as soon as we got the so third goal, it was all but game over for Norwich City, and then. Yeah, the all but yeah, the third goal itself, it was all 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 over for Norwich City. And then the, all due to the fact that um it was uh, another sloppy pass by their striker Dermage. Uh, put it on the plate for Abamyang and um he wasn't gonna miss from where he was. So he took the third goal, his second goal of the game and yeah, you can see how happy he was about scoring. And um Talking about Abamyang, is he going to be happy enough to um, sign a new contract extension that's on the table for him? Only time will tell. Um, we look at the fourth goal now, and um, well, what a debut. Cedric Suarez comes off a better in, and um, we get a corner, a poor corner, then a poor clearance came to Cedric on his left peg, and he hit it nicely. Maybe a slight deflection, but it was a great goal. A great shot from 20 yards out. And that's the sort of... Um, excuse me. That's the sort of thing I like to see my midfielders do, you know. But there you go. So, um, all in all, it was a good game for Arsenal. For Norwich City, sadly, it wasn't good enough from their point of view. They did start off the second half well. And um I didn't and um at the beginning of the second half they forced another good save from Martinez where um Ada Ida um struck it on um, cut inside, struck it on his left, fearsome strike, but um Martinez got down quick enough to um, prevent 
him scoring and it was a good save. And if he spilt it, I think um, the Norwich striker, another Norwich striker was there to tap it in. So, I was pleased with that. Save. Um, Defence wasn't really troubled as much. And the midfield, you know, I thought we were dominating in midfield. Excuse me. So I've got to have a bit of a water here. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. It was an all in all good game for me. And I um, thought the substitutions were right. And um, I thought they come on and did as well as they could. Whew. As you can see, I'm a bit tired. So let's go into the player ratings. So in goal, Damian Martinez. I mean... We know his kicking is um, superb. His distribution with the ball is superb. But for me, his two saves um, stood out for me. Even though he had a, he didn't have um, much um, work to do. He had a fairly a quiet game. But he pulled off two saves. I'm going to give him an eight. Um, the back three, starting off um, with Mustafi. He came off um, for holding. And um, yeah... He pinged in a couple of good passes and um, the second ping was part of the... Yeah, the second long um, glorified ball was um, part of the second goal which Shaka scored. Um, very steady and solid for me, Mustafi. So I'm going to give him a seven. David Lewis. Um, yeah, it's one of these quieter games that he didn't have nothing much to do. Um, he won every tackle, very dominant in the air when arcs upon. And, um, excuse me. Yeah, and um, he deserves, yeah, deserves praise and where it's fully deserved. So he gets a, I'll give him a seven and a half. Um, Kolasnish, the last of the back three. Um, yeah, did what was arcs of him, really. Defended when he had to defend, and um, yeah, he came, he attacked when he had to. Um, nothing much for him to do, I suppose. And um, for me, there was a scare where he gave away their pen, where I felt he gave away a clumsy um, foul, and lucky, luckily we didn't see the penalty. But overall. <sighs> Excuse me, <laughs> But overall, I thought he... Yeah, he did his best there to try and avoid any contact, but it was only a, a minimal touch on the um, Todd um, Cantwell. Um, but it was waved off, so I'm going to give him a six and a half for a steady performance. Right, um, the wing-backs, Bellerin. Yeah, one of his better games offensively. Put in two, one or two good crosses in... And, um, yeah, didn't really get trouble too much defensively, you know. I didn't think Jamal offered him, Jamal um, Lewis offered him much of a threat. And, yeah, yeah, he didn't offer him much of a threat. He was pretty comfortable better in, so seven for him. TNE, well, the guy goes from strength to strength. I mean, offensively, he was part of them. Um, Oh, a superb offensive play. Defensively, he knew when to um, defend. And instead of reacting to danger, he always spotted the danger. And he was, yeah, he was completely solid in that game. Eight and a half for Tierney. Right, the two in the midfield. Uh, so, Bayos, one of his better games. I think he was better than his last game. Yeah. He came on, he got the winning goal against Sheffield United and I've marked him, I think I marked him as a six or seven. Um, viewers around the world, um, if you can remind me in the comment section what, what, what I gave him Shaka for my rating, then um, please drop it in the comment section below. But I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Shaka, again, superb. 
of his distribution of the ball. He, yeah, he was up and down that midfield. Very hard working today. And um, I thought he deserved his goal. And he took it well. Seven and a half for Shaka. Right, the front three. Reese Nelson, yeah, he was quite lively and um, direct. And I did enjoy the way he was going at, going at the Norwich defence in the first half. Uh, maybe he faded away in the second half for me. And he never really got much of the game. I think he just about got a bit tired, so he started to fade out a little bit. But overall, I thought he was... Um, yeah, I thought he was decent for me. I thought he put in a real decent, honest performance. Give him a seven. I will give him a seven. Uh, on the left, Abamyang, man of the match, nine. He got the two goals. Took his took his two goals well. Um, he had a shot that was um, saved by Tim Call. I felt he should have stayed on to stayed on to the um, until the end so he can get his um, hat trick. But it wasn't to be because it would have been magnificent to see him get his um, Premier League hat trick. But um, that could wait on. So with six games remaining, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to get a better chance. But um, yeah, he gets a solid um, nine. Um, Lacazette um, worked hard again. Um, created up. He had a header that he should have scored from, but he. He showed great strength um, by holding off defenders, turning them. You know, there was, there was a part in the first half I felt that he done well by turning the defender and, um, yeah, not, you know, running at the defence but not um, laying off the pass where he got tackled but um, an Arsenal player was there to, to take advantage. But other than that, um, he's putting it on his shift. I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Right, the substitutions... In Ketia, it's the one I remember. Yeah, very lively, hard working, and um, he's got some strength in his in his running ability on the ball. That I do know, and um, you know he draw the foul from thirty five yards out. You know to reward us with a free kick that Pepe took over and hit some and hit it over the bar. Yeah, he was just performing as honestly as he can. I'm going to give him a six and a half. Uh, who else? Joe Willock came on and, um, yeah, he looked um, really lively, you know, as lively as they come. And um, he was unlucky not to score. Um, it w w would have been a... a, a, a it, yeah, what would have been a very good goal. You know, he's full of energy, Got an engine on him as well. So I'm going to give Joe Willock a, a six and a half. Who's the other, other substitution? Oh, it'll come to me. Come on, somebody. T cheer me up. Um, oh, Rob Holding. Yeah. Didn't have much um, defensive work to do, really. He came on. Looked after the ball well. His distribution of the ball was superb. Kept it simple. You know, from when the ball was on his feet. So I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a six. Uh, can I give? Who else can I give? Um, who's on the substitute bench? I think we used all five. Oh, Pepe. Yeah, he came on and he looked very, very lively, and um, yeah, took on defenders directly and. Um, it's a shame we didn't have too much time to do um, to um, have a bigger, bigger impact in the game. So I'll give him a solid five, and um, I think that's my substitution. Hang on, and Ketia came on, and um, someone else came on. No, then it's Bayos came off. Well, I can't remember what midfielder it was. Anyway, um, if you know the last substitution, just leave it in the comment section below, and um, remember. Drive the thumbs up like button and do subscribe to my channel. That's DLG Repping, yeah? Smash that subscribe button for me, left, right and centre. And um, 
I'll do the best to um, feed you some more football in context and keep you entertained. The other results for, from today's game was um, Bournemouth 1, Newcastle United 4, and you had um, Leicester, you had um, Everton 2, Leicester City 1. So, you know, so Leicester, who is, who is in first, for example, them losing the way to Everton it opens things up a little bit for a, finale, for a dramatic finale finish. Right, um, Mikel Arteta, yeah, he was, yeah, he got, he got the tactics right. Uh, we picked the right team for me. Yeah, he never had too much problems. He changed the formation up a bit, a little bit, and he brought on the substitution. I'm, oh, I can't remember who it might have been. I think I've called out four substitutions out of five. But, um, yeah, he was... Super, he was bold in his decision-making and um, bold in his team selection. So I'm going to give Arteta an eight and a half. The referee, well, you can have a... He can have a... I think he did all right. He gets a three and a half. You know, he let the game flow. Book term players when necessarily. And, um, yeah. Didn't have to blow his whistle so much, you know. Because he, he, he allowed the game to flow. Excuse me. Other than that, um, yeah, he gets a... Oh, he gets a three and a half. Now that concludes um, my player ratings, substitutions and the referee being rated. So other than that, yeah guys, so I'm going to leave it, I'm going to cut it um, short now. I'm going to say ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls and all viewers around the world, whoever you are. Thank you for listening, thank you for tuning in. This is a tired one for me, but I'll be back with more um, live videos as much as possible. And um, as, as much as I want you to like and comment in my section, I mean, com in my uh, comment section below and like my channel, make sure you subscribe to DLG Repping, which is me here, yeah? yeah? Subscribe to my channel, bless it up with love and support, yeah? And um, smash that subscribe button heavily. Like I said, if you help me um, subscribe, I'll help you um, with regular videos as much as I can every day. Yeah. Remember, 960 subscribers. That's all I need. Another 960 subscribers. I have 40. So hopefully tonight I'll have a, a lot more than one. Maybe a lot more than tens and hundreds and thousands. <laughs> hey, you never know. Thank you all for listening, yeah? Thank you all for tuning in. Peace, love and bless, as always. Good night and rest well.